Uh, hi guys, so uh, I'm in this video I want to explain um, a little setting that's, that comes with um, Media Engine, okay? Um, you can find the setting in Project Settings. Uh, if you scroll all the way down to uh, Plugins and then find Media Engine, you'll find the setting right here that says um, Middle C, okay? So uh, before I explain what it does, I want to make a little demonstration between two doors, okay? Here I have um, Ableton Live. Okay, I'm going to import a MIDI file into Ableton Live and then I'm going to show you how it treats that MIDI file. So this is the MIDI file right here. I'm going to import this right here. Cool. And um, you'll notice one thing. Ableton is treating this note right here inside the kick. There's the kick and then the clap. Let's focus on the kick. It's treating the notes inside the kick as C3. Okay, you see that this is 3 C3. This is the pitch name. Okay, cool. And then now you're going to open the same file inside um, FO Studio. Okay. So I'm going to import the very same MIDI file inside FO Studio. And uh, I want you to um, see something here. So the file is imported and then let's go to the to the kick track or the kick channel. So you can see that FO Studio treats the same uh, MIDI, MIDI note as a C5 instead of a C3. So Ableton treats it as a C3, um, FO Studio treats it as a C5. So um, what's going on here? So the thing is, um, MIDI files don't have a concept of pitch names. By pitch names, I mean uh, C5, D5, or G5. What MIDI files have, they have a concept of uh, MIDI note numbers. So instead of them saying C5, uh, MIDI files store a number like 60. So for example, um, note 60 will be C5, okay? And uh, so on and so forth. And then uh, maybe sixth one will be uh, D5, okay? But the MIDI file itself does not contain any of these pitch names. It only contains the notes, the note numbers. So what happens is these doors or any program that reads um, MIDI files, it um, sets its own rules on how to uh, determine what note um, 60 is, what note 70 is. So for example, note um, 60 in FO Studio is treated as a C5. The pitch is still 60, but FO Studio denotes, um, gives, gives, gives the, the, that note number, the name C5. Okay. It's just for, for display purposes. Ableton here, the note is still note 60, but it gives it the name C3. Okay. So the reason why I want you to be aware of this is, um, Sometimes you'll be working in Ableton Live and then you export your MIDI file to um, FOS, to, um, to Unreal Engine. So, and then you'll find that when you were making your song in Ableton Live, you were using C3 notes, but then Unreal Engine imports the note as um, C5, okay? The reason is, is, is the same reason um, between the discrepancies between uh, Ableton Live and uh, FOS Studio. Okay, it just depends on the program you're using and how it treats Node 60 or Node 72. What does it call it? Okay, so to change, if you don't like by default, okay, um, MIDI Engine or Unreal Engine will treat, uh, they will treat Node um, 60, which is the root note, as uh, C5. So we call that the middle C, as C5. So by default, we are following um, what FO Studio does. But sometimes we'll be coming from other doors like um, Ableton Live, uh, Pro Tools and everything, right? And you'd like MIDI Engine when you import a file. So let's import the same file. When you import the file, you want it to, note, to denote Note 60 as C5, okay? For FL Studio. But for... Um, Ableton Live users, you want it to be C3 so that you can uh, be familiar with it, so you know, so that it doesn't um, confuse you. So what you need to do is you just need to change the setting right here. I'm sorry, my progress. You need to go to Project Settings. 
all the way to plugins midi engine and then change this to the middle uh middle c that matches your your door okay so there's a hint here it says um ableton live logic pro and pro tools cubase etc they use c3 so if you are using any of these doors and you know that uh, node 60 c3 you can switch here okay cool so i want to show you something you know that uh, when we imported this media engine treated um the note as c5 so i'm going to re-import the same file and uh let's see how it treats at this time after showing you the setting okay it re-imported the same file and then uh, look at that it's it's treating that note as c3 so here's the emphasis here the note is still node 60 it's just what it's denoted what's what's the patch name okay just that the patch name is what's unique between um these doors but the patch number is still node 60 okay which, which is important that's the patch it's still node 60. so if you go back here and then um go back to project settings change this back to the default uh if you change this back to the default and then re-import the file you'll note that it has switched this to c5 but then the note is still 60 because this doesn't change this this is the pitch you know that's the actual key which is note 60. this is just for uh, display purposes and uh midi files do midi files don't store this they don't store the pitch name they store the pitch number the pitch name comes from whichever program you're reading uh the midi file from so uh yeah that's the now